Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from ThinSuite. In this video, we learn how to customize Webflow rich text with Sweet Text. You can use third-party JavaScript libraries with Sweet Text. Since we're applying classes to elements, we can then go and use those classes to call JavaScript libraries, third-party effects, scripts, Webflow interactions, whatever we want. In this example, we are going to create a sortable list with sweet text. Look how I'm dragging and dropping this list and reordering the items inside of it. Let's go into designer, let's see how this works. Here in designer, we are working inside of our rich text block and we have a list item. Every single list item has a class list sortable as its class wrapper. We're going to be creating a span around list one, another span around list two, another span around list three. In this example, list sortable is just a class that we're using to add a class somewhere else. We're not actually applying styles to this class. It's not used for visual styling. Let's go into custom code and see what this means. List sortable is going to be our target to then go add an additional class and an additional class to go make sortable work. I'm inside page settings. I am just before the closing body tag. And first we have our rich text styling system in here. This is sweet text. This comes default. You must have this. Next we'll go over jQuery UI. First we are adding the jQuery UI library and then we're going to have a script that works with our sortable content. The first part of this is to target our list sortable class. That's the class that we had inside designer. We're going to find the closest li, which is the list element. And we're going to add a class to that list element. That class is going to be li element sort. Then we're going to take that same list sortable. We're going to find the closest ul, which is unordered list and that is the parent of the li. And we're going to add a class to that called ul element sort. So now we have our text with a class, we have the actual li element with a class, and we have the outer unordered list element with a class. Now we're totally classed up, now we can go and use jQuery UI to make these elements sortable. So down to the jQuery UI stuff, we're going to target our UL element sort class. This is what we created and added right here. This is what jQuery UI asked for. It asked for the class or the ID on the UL element. So that's exactly what we're doing. We applied that class to it. Now we can go and make it sortable. We're also going to disable the selection of this to make sure that we're not dragging the entire UL. So this is now going to take this UL element and it's going to look for the list items inside of it and make them sortable. That's it. We have done this. If you're interested in Inspector, I'm gonna go over that right now. We'll see these classes actually being added to the correct spots inside the HTML. Let me go in here and inspect this. And let me zoom in here for you. It's a bit too much. All right, where are we? Okay, here we are. We have our UL. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted. We have our UL element sort. That's the class that we told the script to go and add. And then we have LI element sort. Exactly. That's what we told the script to go and add. And then inside we have our list sortable in a span. So we're just using list sortable as a target to then go add the classes where sortable, jQuery UI sortable asks for them, right here and right here. And you can see that jQuery UI is automatically going to apply these other classes to these elements so that we can go and make it sortable. So this is working exactly as we want, exactly as planned. This is a great example of how you can apply classes exactly where you want so that you can interact with third-party libraries, with other scripts, and do some really custom stuff with rich text. That's effing sweet.